Welcome back family. In today's video, I'm going over one under the radar company that is targeting a rapidly growing market. And guys, if you like stocks that could potentially run big, you need to watch this video. Before I begin, do me a favor, be sure to smash that like button. It only takes a few seconds and I really would appreciate it. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on future videos. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice. Video is only for entertainment purposes. For full disclosure, this video is sponsored on behalf of the company I'm about to talk about. But as always, all of the opinions in this video are of my own. Now let's get right into it. So the company I'm referring to is Flying Nickel Mining Corp. And you can find this company trading on the Toronto Venture Exchange under ticker symbol FLYN and on the OTC under ticker symbol FLYNF. Before I break down why I think this company could be on the verge of a potential breakout, do yourself a favor, pause this video and add this one to your watch list. So Flying Nickel is a company that is aiming to supply the electric vehicle industry with high performance battery ingredients that are 100% made in Canada with low carbon emissions. The company's flagship Minago project is one of the world's largest high-grade open pit optimized nickel sulfide deposits. Minago contains 722 million pounds of indicated nickel resource, roughly equal to nickel in 10 million Tesla Model 3 vehicle batteries. That is seriously impressive. Now, Minago is located in the southern extent of the Thompson Nickel Belt, also referred to as TNB. TNB is the second largest nickel camp in Canada with over 5 billion pounds of past nickel production. Provincial Highway 6 and High Voltage Transmission Line are within 1 km from proposed Minago Open Pit Project Area. Vale currently mines and produces nickel concentrates in Thompson. The Thompson nickel concentrates are shipped by rail to Vale's Sudbury Smelter for processing to refine nickel for customers such as Tesla. Now guys, I do want to turn your attention to this chart from Bloomberg. This chart showcases the global materials that demand forecast from EV sales. Nickel, which is indicated in blue, is projected to continue to grow in demand well into the future at an almost exponential rate. We all know several countries across the globe are pushing for cleaner transportation options such as EVs, so this is not that surprising that nickel will continue to grow in demand in the years ahead as it is a critical material for EVs. Luckily, flying nickel is already well positioned to capitalize and help fill some of this growing demand for nickel. Now let's Let's turn our attention back to Monago. So on August 2021, an independent Monago mineral resource estimate was published by Mercator Geological Services Limited, AGP Mining Consultants, and Stantec Limited. And as you can see from this table, guys, there is a lot of nickel located at Monago. Furthermore, Monago has similar structural, geological, and mineralogical characteristics to other deposits located on the Thompson Nickel Belt. Nickel mineralization at the Monago project remains open at depth beyond 350 meters meters and a long strike. Substantial volume of known nickel mineralization was excluded as a result of the cutoff grades applied. Flying Nickel believes that some of the excluded mineralization could be included in the contained in-situ nickel resource at higher nickel prices. Now what I really like about this project is their carbon emission. The proposed Monago open pit operation could potentially have one of the lowest carbon emissions as hydro accounts for 97% of all electricity generated in Manitoba. So not only is there a lot of potential here, but they are also environmentally conscious. The last item I have to discuss is Flying Nickel's impressive management team. So the company is led by CEO and Executive Chairman John Lee. Mr. Lee specializes in mining M&A and has raised over $150 million through the TSX and TSX Venture Exchange for junior companies since 2009. Throughout the years, Lee has identified, negotiated, and financed several different acquisitions and companies. He is one of the most experienced individuals in the space. Now, if that wasn't enough, Mr. Lee has a strong support network as the rest of the management team for Flying Nickel is also made up of experienced, successful individuals. Now, before we wrap things up, there's one more item I do want to mention. So on October 16, 2023, Flying Nickel Mining Corp announced that it has closed a non-brokered private placement offering of roughly 7.6 million common shares of the company, which was previously announced on August 23, 2023, raising gross proceeds of $600,000. Proceeds of the offering will be used for exploration and general working capital. This is a great catalyst because it shows that the company remains well-funded for growth. Lastly, I do want to mention there is a significant catalyst coming up in 2024. Flying Nickel is planning to make a construction decision as early as 2024 with production initiation targeted for 2028. With this in mind, I do think this is the perfect time to begin researching Flying Nickel. So if you haven't done so already, guys, please add Flying Nickel Corp to your watch list. 
list. Also, be sure to check out their website and social media. The links will be pinned in the comment section. With that said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on future videos. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice. Video is only for entertainment purposes. You should never make any decisions to buy, hold, or sell stocks based on this video.